I'm Eric Luzak. We came down here to High Park in Toronto, Ontario. It's a beautiful sunny day and we're going to show you how to use a bait caster. I get tons of people emailing me or calling me saying, Eric, I just bought a bait caster and it's bird's nesting every single time. What's a bird's nest? A bird's nest is this. Now what happened there is that the reel overruns itself. The lure's not going out fast enough. The reel starts going too fast, starts overrunning, and the line bunches up. Causes you lots of problems. You have to cut your line. You got to fix it. You got to play around with it. It's a big pain. So if you set your reel up properly, you shouldn't get that problem. Before you even make a cast, you need to make some adjustments to your reel to make sure it's not going to cause those problems. First is the course adjustment. That's that big knob right there. What that's doing is applying direct pressure to the spindle of the spool, slowing it down. Then most reels will have a fine adjustment located on the other side of the reel. This one is an eight pin centrifugal force system that's operated by a dial. When you turn that dial, those pins flare out when you cast using centrifugal force to slow down the spool. So now you know what the adjustments are, now you gotta learn how to use them. What you do, you got your lure tied on, I keep my lure up near the tip of my rod, and I just press the button and let it free spool down. What I wanna look for is the lure to just slowly elevate down. So how I start with this, this is when I'm teaching someone who's never used one before, this is how I start them. I crank that course adjustment all the way on so it's tight. When you press that button, that lure doesn't move at all. And then you slowly start to back it off until it just starts creeping down. There it goes, just like that, just like an elevator. So the fine adjustment is used for exactly that, making fine adjustments to your cast. And when you want to use this is if varying wind conditions or different lure weights. If I'm in a really windy situation, I got a light lure on, I'm going to crank that all the way to full so all brakes are going to flare out and engage to slow down my cast. If I'm using a small heavy lure with very little wind resistance, there's no wind on the water at all, I'll turn that on zero or maybe the first setting so there's less resistance, I'm going to get a further cast but it's going to stay in control. Okay, let's make some casts. First thing, push the button down with your thumb. Now the spool is completely controlled by my thumb. When I release, the lure is going to fall. If I keep pressure on it, it's going to slow it down. I recommend doing a sidearm cast for beginner bait cast users. It's a lot easier, you're going to get less bird's nest. Okay, so smooth motion, smooth backswing, smooth cast. When I release, I'm going to release with my thumb, but let that line just feather underneath my thumb. What I'm doing is controlling it even more so directly, mechanically controlling that with my thumb now. So if you watch, I'm going to cast, release with my thumb, feather it out. As soon as that lure is about to hit the water, stop it with your thumb completely and then start reeling in. Don't use your reel handle to, reel, to stop it, use your thumb to stop it. Okay, just like this. Stop it and reel. So why do you have to use a bait caster? Well, there's a couple different reasons. One is I'm using 50 pound test braid on this. You cannot use 50 pound braid on a spinny reel. It's just not gonna work properly. With 50 pound braid, that allows me to pull big bass at a heavy cover, stumps, weeds, docks, but it also allows me to catch big muskie, pike, and any other big game fish out there. The second reason is the accurate casting. Because I'm feathering it, with my thumb and I can stop it wherever I want, I can control the distance and the speed of my cast. That allows me to pinpoint this lure and drop it in a little coffee cup 75 feet away from me. I can have the lure enter the water with almost no splash so I don't spook fish and I can cast underneath trees and different types of casts that allow me to be really accurate and catch more fish.